Hi everyone, my name is Denis Pru. I want to give you a quick demo on the Nuage VNS portal. So the customer would have access to the internet uh, via their browsers. They would type in the, uh, the HTTP link to access the VNS portal graphical user interface. They would type in their username, password, and the organizations they are in. And that would do the scope and span for that user or what they're allowed to do in the VNS portal. As you can see on the, on the left side here, the customer can manage their branches. We'll be able to manage their VPNs they're allowed to have access to. The analytics, we'll be able to get the reports, reporting functions from the, uh, the network, the VSD. And then the network functions, they're actually enabled on, for that service provider or customer. Uh, you can see them to the graphical user interface. You also have access to account information if you're the administrator and also the maps give you a quick uh, way to see your individual sites or branches on the network. Another thing you can do also, you can ch change the themes and colors of that interface. So uh, if we switch it to ocean blue, which is probably more uh, nicer, it gets rid of the red. That gives you the different look and feel if you're either in Asia or North America, depending on what color preference uh, customers like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to network and I'm going to add a new private VPN. And as you can see right now, there is already a corporate uh, VPN which has five subnets and zones. And also we have Japan at the bottom here that has three uh, subnets and zones and a few people also on the system. So I'm going to go add a VPN and I would give it a name. In this case here I'll give it Canada. And I'll say that I want two sites in Canada. And I would go create. So now when I hit the create button, it actually sends the information to the VSD application uh, that's already installed on the service provider. And it created a private VPN for me, as I am the customer in this case, with two, two, uh, two, zone, two subnets that I want to create two branches on the network. So now that I've done that, if we could start to look at the um, Canada subnet, you also see that uh, the two uh, sites have been uh, prepared with the subnets, but you also see uh, nine icons there, what's actually enabled as network functions in the network. So the first one shows you the bootstrapping manager that's required, so when the customer plugs in the NHG at the branch, it will actually connect automatically to that VPN Canada. You also see the um, layer th two VPN functions have been enabled and the layer 3 uh, VPN function has been enabled. What has not been enabled is the layer 4 uh, applications and the bandwidth on bandwidth uh, applications for the QoS. We have the firewall security that's have been enabled for that NSG and we also have the traffic in steering and uh, the HCP DNS applications have not been enabled. And the last one is the advanced analytics has been enabled, so I'll be able to show you some reports. We've got, we already have a traffic generator on the network. And if you look here, you can see uh, underneath, uh, under that site, there's no branch currently uh, tied to that, uh, that site. So let's go network functions. What I'll do is I'll enable the bandwidth on demand. So network functions is what's been globally enabled for that uh, overlay network. Bootstrapping is already enabled, layer two, layer three. Layer four, QOS and traffic steering and the HTTP DNS have not been enabled. They're ready to be activated. And the security and advanced analytics have been enabled. So I'm gonna go into QOS one and I'm gonna enable that. I'm gonna activate it. And it tells you, here we configure it as per the service provider's request. The activation in this case here will be like 1099 uh, fee for activating that functions on that Canada VPN on an individual branch. So it'll tell you, do you want to confirm this? You say yes. In this case, it has been enabled now. You can show it's showing as green. And if we go back to network functions and we go back to Canada, we'll see that the QOS has been enabled uh, icon here. So you can see the icon is actually uh, enabled. So if I click on that, it allows me now to set a bandwidth for that uh, that domain. In this case here, I'm gonna type a bandwidth of 50 meg, and I'm gonna hit update, and now 50 meg 
is now enabled as a cap for uh, the amount of bandwidth allowed per uh, from one NSG to the other NSG. So that kind of concluded just showing you how to create a, a, a private network called Canada, activating the network functions, and then seeing the network functions enabled on Canada. The next step will be we're going to go to branch, and we're going to add a specific branch to Canada. So if we look at the branches that are currently there right now on the system that I have access to, uh, you don't see Ottawa or Montreal. So we're going to go add a new branch, and we'll call it uh, Ottawa. And we'll give it an address, uh, 600 uh, March Road. We'll say Ottawa. And the province is Ontario, Ontario, Canada. And as soon as you've done that, it, it will actually find the location, the exact address. And you can see also the form factor. So what do you want to have on that uh, site on Ottawa? What type of uh, NSG box you want to have configured. We'll leave it at P for now. And I can say save and order. So what that did, it actually sent all the information to the Nuage VSD to set up that branch, but also set the send an email order to the order entry system, which has a given email, would have a given email address. And that person would ship an NSG box to Ottawa. Now you can go to uh, my branch here and you can now see the Ottawa branch, it is uh, created, but it has not been activated. Uh, it hasn't been managed yet on the other side. So if I click activate, and I'll show you the branch name, 600 March Road, and you'll be able to pick a port on there. So I can pick port uh, 3, and I can tie it to a subnet to bootstrap it. I'll leave it to Canada Subnet 1. I'll say confirm. And I'm done doing that branch. So what I can do now is I can go back to branch and I can add the Montreal one. Come here and I say add new branch. I'll type in Montreal. I give it an address for 25 Maison Boulevard. Montreal. Quebec, Canada, and I can leave the same form factor, save, and now I'm going to ship in NHG to Montreal with a different uh, order entry. So now I'll go back to my branch, and for that branch I can also bootstrap the same thing there. So I can go to Montreal, and I'll bootstrap a different port, port 2 in this case. To subnet to. So I come here, I can see Montreal on my map, I drill down and I can go to port 2 and I'll bootstrap it to whatever subnet is available. As you can see subnet 1 is no longer uh, available, it's been bound to Ottawa. So I'm going to pick subnet 2, confirm, and it's ready to get plugged in uh, when the NSG gets to the site Ottawa and Montreal. Now on the analytics reporting functions, if we go there, you get a global view, you can get a network view, or you can get a branch view of the amount of data uh, throughputs. So just to show you a uh, different uh, granularity here, we have daily, weekly, or monthly, kind of a scaling here of showing you the statistics. But you can also go and see your corporate site, VPN, or your Japan side VPN, and it'll do an overlay showing you which one consume most of the bandwidth on that Nuage VNS system. So the global one is the red, the carpet is the blue, Japan is the uh, dark black one. And if I can look at a peak here, I can look at this peak here, we have 127 megabits per second for global traffic. And then as you go down, you can see the, uh, the other ones here for the, just for the carpet data, it's 83 megabits and for the Japan is 53. So the global one gives you the, the global throughput and then the, uh, the other one is specific to that VPN, that private VPN. And you can see there's a global throughputs, average and peaks, and for each network VPN you can get a percentage of the traffic as an aggregated, and you also get the branches uh, tied to that. If you go to the branch um, 
a specific branch you can also look at only a specific branch how much traffic is going to the headquarters or from a given given site so it retrieves information here daily for the branch so it's retrieving all the information from the uh, Nuage VSD application in the network that's collecting the statistics for that branch there it goes now we get the daily branch traffic and the individual branch branches are down here so if I go we'll pick some that are interested so if I go like pick these ports here it will overlay them on top of the graph showing you, uh, you know, what's the uh, which one takes the most bandwidth now one thing I want to show you also is the uh, the map so if we go to map on the maps you can see all the branches that have been configured as a, an overlay network for Nuage VNS and I can go now and go sp see specific branches and I could go to Montreal and this is a live interactive map so if I had to drive there I would see exactly where that uh, NSG box is located when you click on it it retrieves information from the system showing you that branch address and at the bottom it will show you the ports and you can remove the branch or you can send activation so the customer would go and activate it uh, once he gets the uh, the box he would click log in here and activate the uh, the NSG box removing a branch is pretty simple you just remove it from here that concludes the demo that I want to show you today thank you very much